Welcome to Canva video tutorial. Today, we're going to have a look at how to use Canva to create a recipe book. First thing you need to do is go to canva.com. Once there, if you have an account with Canva already, click login. If you don't have an account, you have an option to sign up with Google, sign up with Facebook, or sign up with your email. Because I already have an account, I'm going to click login and enter my credentials. Once you've logged in or sign up, this is what the home screen will look like. We we'll have search engine at the top, collections of popular designs underneath, and your designs at the bottom. Also, on the left, you will see a navigation panel. The easiest way to create a recipe book or a recipe card is to look for designs. Recipe card. You also can create a design from scratch. However, if you look for designs, Canva will offer you some templates. Scroll down and pick a template that looks good to you. Once you've selected a template that you like, Canva will take you to the editing screen. Your workspace takes up the majority of your screen. On the left-hand side of the screen, you will see a navigation bar. Now when you have a template, you can start adding elements. And these are the elements that you can add to your template. Let's start with adding some text. Click on the text and then select the text you like. You can choose from adding simple text or adding text from a template. Simply drag and drop the text to your template. The text will appear in your editing screen. If you'd like to edit the text, simply click on the text and look at the top tab. You can change the font of the text, font and other features. You can also add some elements. Elements are grouped together under the headings. If you're looking for a specific element, try searching for it. If you are looking for the cake, try typing in cake. This will bring up all images of cakes. Images that have a dollar sign next to them are paid for. You can still use them in your design, but they will have a watermark on them. Images that don't have a dollar sign next to them, but rather have a free sign, can be used without a watermark. If you want to resize the image, drag the corners of the image. If you want to rotate, click on rotation button and rotate the image to fit your design. If you didn't find images that you want, you can always search for the images online, download them on your computer, and then use upload function. Click upload, upload images, and then select them from your computer. They will appear in your upload, and then you can again simply drag and drop these images onto your working screen. This is just some of the images I uploaded before. Once your design is ready, click download. Select the file type. I normally select PNG, then click download. This will download a file that you can then share with your teacher. Thank you for checking out this tutorial. I hope it was helpful and have fun with Canva. Bye bye.